Imagine this, you're sitting at your desk, staring at your laptop, and you think you're alone, but you're not. Because deep inside that machine, there's something else. A second computer, invisible, untouchable, undeniably watching you. It runs its own operating system, uses its own network connection, and sits beneath your antivirus, your firewall, and even your BIOS. This isn't some hacker's back door. It's not malware. It was put there on purpose by Intel. In 2008, Intel began quietly installing software called the Intel Management Engine, or IME, on virtually every CPU it sold. They said it was for remote management, tech support, diagnostics, patching, nothing to worry about. But security researchers soon realized something far more disturbing. This wasn't just a helper tool, it was a fully independent computer inside your computer. It has its own processor, it runs its own operating system, a modified version of Minix, and it doesn't need your permission to do anything. Even when your laptop is off, the Intel management engine is still on. And here's the kicker. Not even your operating system, not Windows, not Linux, not Mac OS, can see what it's doing. Imagine a ghost inside your machine that can silently read your files, monitor your keystrokes, capture your screen, and even send data over the internet. IME can do all of that. It can access your RAM, your hard drive, your keyboard, your mouse, and your network without a single process showing up in Task Manager. And you can't remove it. If you try, your CPU won't boot because Intel hardwired it into the boot process. Even worse, it has direct access to your Ethernet port, meaning it can bypass your operating system completely and talk to the internet directly. Antivirus can't see it. Firewalls can't block it and patches don't apply unless Intel gives them to manufacturers, who then have to push them to you, which they usually don't. In 2017, Intel confirmed a devastating bug in the management engine. It allowed attackers to gain full control remotely. This wasn't just some academic risk, it affected millions of machines and it wasn't the last. Other exploits followed, and researchers even demonstrated a keylogger built entirely within the Intel ME framework. What made these vulnerabilities so terrifying wasn't just that they were allowed, it was that you'd never know if you were infected. No pop-ups, no system slowdowns, no logs. Just a quiet ghost watching you from the inside. This is where things go from creepy to conspiratorial. After enough outcry, it came to light that the NSA, yes, that NSA, had quietly asked Intel to provide versions of its CPU without the management engine, for governmental use only. Intel didn't disclose this, neither did the NSA. Researchers only found out when they discovered firmware flags designed to disable IME, flags not available to the public. That's when speculation exploded. Was this thing a backdoor? Was Intel, knowingly or not, giving government a secret way to access any computer in the world? Today, the Intel management engine is still in most of your modern CPUs. If you own a Windows laptop, maybe even some MacBooks and Linux workstations, it's there. You can't see it, you can't stop it, and you probably never will. Some companies like Purism and System76 are fighting back by creating systems that attempt to neutralize or disable IME. But for hundreds of millions of machines already out there, the ghost stays inside. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you will give me a like and a subscribe. I'm trying really hard to grow this channel and also check out my website, examlabpractice.com for all your Microsoft certification course needs.